Hello there, this is the Canuck Cowboy here. I have a very special gun for you to show you to you today. It is a Canadian Cowboy classic for sure. This is the the uh, British Canadian P14 sportized rifle. This, this pretty much is as Canuck Cowboy as you can possibly get. The Winchesters won the American West, well the P-14s won the Canadian West. These things, P-14s and the Enfields, I should mention them as well. These things were made for World War I. The, uh, these were the pre-runners to the Lee Enfields. These were actually a stronger action than the Lee Enfields, but they were too expensive to produce, so they were later switched over to the Lee Enfield. Plus, the Lee Enfield held 10 rounds. These only held 5. So even though they're a stronger action, they hold less rounds, but they are just as fast. They have that... Lee Enfield fast action. So, uh, very quick follow up shots for a bolt gun. This is, uh, this one has been sportized. I believe what happened was the military used them. Then they, when they're finished with them, they gave them to the police, like the RCMP. When the RCMP was done with them, they sportized them and gave them to the uh, public as hunting rifles, which they served all their purposes extremely well. These are very strong, very good, accurate, just inherently accurate. Um, very beautiful firearms, and uh, a lot of people use these actions even as building customized rifles just simply because they're so good. And the PN P14s are less common and more desirable, as I understand it. This one here, this is, uh, I believe I picked this one up for like 150 bucks. So, you know, they're very cheap, you can get them very reasonable prices, they are very good, and uh. They're usually, I mean, you can find these in pretty much every gun shop in Canada. The 303. Now, the 303, the ammunition that is used in these firearms, I believe it is not so popular in America. So I know some of my American viewers, you might have a hard time finding this. I've heard a lot of people, Americans, say they have a hard time finding the 303s. The 303 British is very popular in Canada along with these rifles because uh, there's a lot of surplus rifles. I don't even know if they're making 303 if anyone's making a rifle in 303 these days, but there's so many surplus here that uh, they're still Winchester and Federal, they're still producing out those 303s. <coughs> Need a bit of a drink there. Um, just a few points about this particular rifle. This one has been sportized and quite well. It's got marble sights on it, which are very nice. I would eventually maybe like to get it drilled and tapped for a scope and put, put a scope on there. As I said, it's in the 303. Most of the original bluing is worn off, but it's got this kind of cool old war-beaten patina. It's got the original stock, um, but it's been sportized, like I said. I'm not sure if it's the original stock to the rifle. It may have been replaced when they refurbished it, but it is an original World War I stock. Now, all the metal parts, except for the stock, all the metal parts, and I'm not sure about the butt plate, but the action in the barrel and bolt and everything, it's all the same serial number, so it's all matching serial numbers, except for maybe the stock. There's no way to tell about that, so I can't really say. But uh, all in all, it's in very good condition. I will show you the uh, workings of the action. This is a very nice uh, nice working firearm, very handy and fast to use. It's uh, This is your safety. That's on safe. You can't open the bolt. You just click that off. That's fire. Bolt works. You just load your bolts in the uh, magazine there, five rounds. Then you close it up, bang, safety. Very simple, very strong, very easy to use. Uh, this particular one um, I bought because I needed something to, for moose hunting. That was my motivation behind it, and plus I just couldn't leave it there. It's such a sweet little rifle. Um, if you're looking for something for hunting, I highly recommend you check these out. Um, I know the 303 is not a terribly popular caliber, especially down the States, but it is very potent. It's very close to the 303, or, or 30-06, sorry. It's not that far off the 30-06 in power. But uh, it's, uh, for, for hunting, you're hardly going to notice the difference. Like, whether you're using a 30-06 or a 303, it's not even going to make a difference. The moose isn't going to care whether it's being hit with a 30-06 slog or a 303. It's not going to matter. It's going to put them down no matter what. Uh, I personally think these are very beautiful guns. Um, they just can't be beat in my opinion. Canadian classic. I know they're British. 
actually, and I believe they were made in America in the Winchester manufacturing plants for Britain that might then use them for Canada. But they are just, these are Canadian classic. There are tons of them over here. We've relied on them for years. They work great. I highly recommend them to you if you're looking for a rifle. Uh, for hunting or shooting or collecting purposes, this is the baby you want to check it out. I also hope you notice my Canadian, or Canadian, sorry, um, Christmas hat. It is getting very close to Christmas here. And if you don't have all your Christmas shopping done, the Canuck Cowboy says, shame on you because you should have all your presents under the tree at this point. That's what I say anyway. So get it done, guys. I mean, get your act together. Anyway, see you later. Have a nice night. Can I cowboy it?